Hello everyone. Welcome to Static GK quiz number 236. This video is aimed to help you with your state and central government exams like SSC, UPSC, state PSCs and banking and insurance related examinations like RRB, IBPS, etc. I'm the Trisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. In which year National Population Stabilization Fund was renamed as Janasankhya Strikaran Kosh? The correct answer is 2003. The erstwhile National Population Stabilization Fund, now renamed as Janasankhya Striyata Kosh, has been registered as a society on June 12, 2003 with a seed money of rupees 100 crore. Which among the following is not correct? So all of them are correct. Planned Economy for India is a book by M. Visheshavriya. Gandhi and Plan is by Sriman Narayan from 1944. And Sarvadaya plan is by Jay Prakash Narayan from 1950. Who among the following declared the first industrial policy in the post-independence period? Correct answer is Shama Prasad Mukherjee. Shama Prasad Mukherjee was an Indian politician, barrister and academician who served as Minister for Industry and Supply in Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru's cabinet. The Sikh Industrial Companies Act of 1985 was enacted following the recommendation of which of the following committees? Correct answer is Tiwari Committee. The Sikh Industrial Companies Special Provisions Act 1985, also known as SICA, defined a Sikh industrial unit as one that had existed for at least five years and had incurred accumulated losses equal to or exceeding its entire net worth at the end of any financial year. For ensuring easier exit of the Sikh units, the government has proposed a policy called Exit Policy 1992. Why was this committee not implemented? Correct answer is opposition from trade unions. So Exit Policy 1992 refers to the right or ability of an industrial unit to withdraw from or leave an industry or in other words to close down. The proposal to introduce it was first mooted in 1991 when it was felt that without labor market flexibility, efficient industrialization would be difficult to achieve. In which of the following years, six banks were nationalized? Correct answer is 1980. RBI nationalized uh, in 1949. SBI was nationalized in 1955. 14 banks were nationalized on 16-7-1969 or in other words, 16th of uh, July 1969, whereas six banks were nationalized on 15th of April 1980. Which among the following is not correctly matched? In the given options, all are correctly matched. The Diesel Locomotive Works is in Varanasi, India, and it's a production unit owned by Indian Railways that manufactures diesel electric locomotives and its spare parts. Integral Coach Factory is a manufacturer of rail coaches and is located in Perambur uh, near Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Rail Wheel Factory is a manufacturing unit of Indian Railways producing uh, wheels, axles and wheel sets of railroad wagons, coaches and locomotives for the use of Indian Railways and overseas customers and is situated at Yalahanka which is in Bangalore in the state of Karnataka. Which among the following is India's deepest landlocked and protected port? Correct answer is Vishakhapatnam. Vishakhapatnam port is one of 13 major ports in India and the only major port of Andhra Pradesh. It is India's second largest port by volume of cargo handled. It is located on the east coast of India and is located midway between the Chennai and Kolkata ports. Arrange the following in correct chronological order of their years of establishment. So RBI, SBI, IFCI, ICICI, NAVAD and UTI. So when we arrange, we get option D, where RBI was uh, formed in 1935, IFCI in 1948, ICICI in 1955 January, SBI in 1955 July, UTI in 1964 and NABAD in 1982. The maximum number of which of the following in India is owned by public sector? Correct answer is oil refineries. India has 18 public sector refineries and 5 refineries in the private sector or as a joint venture. The largest refineries being Reliance Industries, uh, Jamnagar, RPL Jamnagar, MRPL Mangalore, CPCL Manali 
and IOC quality. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.